I'm Nisi with Nisi Lisi Professional Dog Training. This is Lisi and this is my assistant Liliana. So today we're going to talk to you about having your dog wear a Halloween costume happily. So we want willing participants when we're having our dogs dress up because a, I mean it's just kind of sad when they're fighting it and you're forcing them into a costume. I just don't like that relationship wise for you and your dog. Uh, Number two, because if you take a photo of a really sad dog, it looks really sad. <laughs> so we want the photo to look really happy. And number three, if you're going trick or treating, you don't want your dog fighting the costume the whole time. So trying to rub themselves on everything they can touch or paw something off their face. So it's really important that you practice this ahead of time. So you're not just Halloween day, let's throw the costume on the dog and try to get through it as quickly as possible. If you do it a few days ahead of time, you can get the dog really comfortable wearing the costume. You'll all feel better. There won't be a struggle. Nobody's feelings will be hurt. And you'll just have a better result in the end. So we're gonna start off with something super easy today. Something to dress your dog up that doesn't cause a lot of trauma and is easy for dogs who are really sensitive to being touched as well. So that is wearing a fancy collar. I do this a lot for a variety of occasions. So this is something that I bought at the dollar store, but you can just put your regular dog collar, get some ribbons, tie them on. You could do black and orange ribbons. These have little bats taped or glued to the end of them. It's super simple. It's something your dog is used to wearing around their neck. So that's the easy part. And it looks really fun and festive anyways. So it's not a full on costume. You're not gonna traumatize a dog that doesn't like being touched. So I'm gonna show you how to put this on your dog. Lisi, you come up. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is let the dog sniff it. So I'm gonna present it to her so she can have a little sniff, see what's going on here. Remember that dogs perceive everything through their nose first, not their eyes. So it's really important that you let them sniff it first. The second thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna have a treat on the other side of it and I'm gonna ask her to bring her nose through the opening here. If your dog is really nervous and pulling back away from you, do really slowly here. You can have your hand go a little bit through it like this. Lily thinks this game is hilarious. She's just laughing away. She loves the dogs. <laughs> So I'm holding the treat here. I'm gonna push it forward while she's eating the treat. I'm not going all the way over her head yet. I'm gonna take it nice and slow. You wanna use a lot of treats here and make this a really positive experience for the dog. Very good. Very good. So Lisey's obviously quite comfortable wearing a collar and I actually dress her up in costumes a lot. This is not her first time wearing this. <laughs> so she's not pulling back at all. If you're getting pullback from your dog, then you wanna make sure you're going really slow. You wanna go at the dog's pace. You know, set aside 10 minutes. It doesn't take that long for the dog to get used to it, but you just don't wanna force it if they're feeling uncomfortable. So I'm gonna push that all the way over her head. Very good. So if I was doing this as a training session, I'm gonna push that on her head. I might stand up, <laughs> almost fell. I might stand up, give her a few treats. Good girl, lovely job. And then I'm just gonna take it off. All done, just like that. And I would do that a few times. So probably at least five times before the day. So that the dog sees this come out and goes, oh my gosh, I'm getting treats and looks kind of happy because you want them to feel comfortable with this item in general and with the wearing of it. So let's see how that looks on camera. I'm gonna put that on ask her to stay oh it's gorgeous what a cute photo that is <laughs> very nice beautiful good girl so I'm gonna take that off okay so that's it for today so this is an option for a dog that's really nervous being handled and doesn't want to wear a full-on costume but you still want them to look kind of fun and festive so I'm gonna do a couple more videos for this the next one we're going to talk about wearing something on your dog's head, which can be a little bit more traumatic. So we're going to follow a similar kind of routine, just with a hat. Okay, well, we will see you again soon.